Max Composite is here. Available in both 0.1 inch and 0.2 inch thicknesses with sheet sizes of 47 by 23 inches, Max Composite is engineered for applications demanding strength, impact resistance, and abrasion resistance. It's 25% lighter than polycarbonate and completely impervious to Loctite. Join me as we take a deep dive into Max Composite. What is Max Composite? Max Composite is made from self-reinforced polypropylene, SRPP, a pure thermoplastic material that combines two molecular weights of polypropylene with different melting points. During production, polymer chains are stretched and aligned into individual sheets, which are then stacked and heat pressed under precisely controlled temperature, time, and pressure. This process bonds only the lower melting point polypropylene, forming a matrix that secures the unmelted fibers, hence the term self-reinforced. The result is an exceptionally strong, rigid sheet with significantly higher strength than standard polypropylene. Cutting and fabrication. For fast and precise part fabrication, CO2 laser cutting is the most efficient method. To minimize material waste, we recommend prototyping with plywood before finalizing designs in Max Composite. When resizing sheets for laser cutter bed sizes, conventional tools such as table saws, band saws, or jigsaws can be used. However, avoid overheating and rapid air cooling, as these can cause jamming with high-speed tools. When cutting Max Composite with a laser, proper settings are crucial to achieve clean cuts in a single pass preventing over-melting or rebonding. The laser also seals the edges, locking the layers to prevent delamination. Ensure adequate ventilation due to moderate smoke production during cutting. If you notice plastic spraying onto the surface or excessive smoke jetting out, it's usually a sign that the material hasn't been fully cut through. We have found that on a 100-watt CO2 laser, the best settings for 0.2-inch thick sheets are 90 to 100% power at speeds of 7 to 10 millimeters a second, while 0.1 inch sheets work best at about 30 to 20 millimeters a second at the same power levels. Since every laser varies, we strongly recommend testing settings with smaller cuts before moving to larger production pieces. Fitment and finish. Before committing to larger parts, test fitment for bearing presses and hardware clearance. For example, on our laser, a 1.1 inch diameter hole results in a snug arbor press fit for a rounded hex bearing which is 1.125 inches. You may notice some melted plastic on the back side of cut parts, so consider which surfaces need to remain smooth and flat. This excessive material can be sanded down, removed with a deburring tool, or trimmed with a knife. However, ensure the edges remain slightly melted together to prevent delamination. Sharp drill bits can be used for additional holes, and hole saws or jigsaws work well for less precise parts. Since polypropylene has a very low surface energy, most adhesives won't adhere well. Stickers and graphics will need a large surface area for better adhesion. For your more polished look, Max Composite can be masked and painted with primers and paints designed for plastic. One of Max Composite's great features is it's completely impervious to Loctite. In this test, we put polycarbonate right next to Max Composite and deposited some Loctite on top of it. Under tension, you can quickly see how fast polycarbonate will actually just completely degrade and snap versus the MAC composite has no effect at all, which means don't forget to lock tight your bolts. CNC machining. Many people ask about machining MAX composite on a CNC router. While it is possible, CO2 laser cutting yields the best results. If using a CNC router, compression bits are essential, along with proper work holding techniques like a vacuum table or screwing the material into a spoil board. The key is maintaining a slight melt on the edges. We achieved acceptable results using a 1 8 inch compression bit at a 1800 RPM spindle speed and a 108 inch per minute feed rate, approximately 0.003 inches per tooth. Slowing down further may improve edge quality, but avoid excessive heat buildup, which can cause material to melt and deposit on the bit. With these best practices in mind, Max Composite offers an excellent balance of strength, weight savings, and ease of fabrication, making it a great choice for a variety of applications. For more information, check out the product page 
or dive deeper into our documentation about Max Composite at docs.revrobotics.com. Send any questions our way, and we look forward to seeing what you build with Max Composite.